All right, what's going on YouTube? I am back again with another video. Just like the title says, how to pretty much share any file across your network from any folder on multiple computers. It's, it's literally that easy, okay? Now, it sounds complicated. Like, how am I going to be able to, like, usually for me, what I used to do is I would just take a flash drive or like a SD card or whatever, pop it in one computer and take those files off, take those files off that computer, take the SD card back out and put it in the other computer. Now that process is obviously easy. You could do that, pretty simple. But what if I were to tell you that, so for me, I like to game a lot and I record on one computer. I also scream on that computer and all my files get saved on that computer. What if I could tell you, you could pull all those files from that computer that you just recorded from over to your main computer by not even touching that computer, that, that computer that you just recorded from. Isn't that crazy? That's absolutely insane. Now, it's very simple to do, pretty easy. Uh, first, you're gonna want to pretty much turn on discoverability for first computer so that that computer could see you and send all your files over to that computer that you want to. Pretty simple to do. Um, now, this is, this is for PC users. Um, there is probably a version for Mac, but I don't know it. And the easiest way to do this right now, go to your settings, hit your Windows key, go to your settings and type in control panel. Once you get there, you're gonna see a list of stuff. You're gonna hit go to network and sharing center. And from there, you're gonna hit ethernet. From there, you're gonna go to change advanced sharing settings. Boom. And you're gonna see this. Now, what you're gonna make sure you, you're gonna wait, you're gonna make sure everything is discoverable for you. So turn on network discovery. Yes, you're gonna want that on. Um, you, you can also turn on file and printing sharing as well. Uh, definitely turn that on. If you take a look at these little sections here, you're gonna see a lot of options that you can actually enable. I don't normally touch this stuff. This has a lot to do with like protection file transfer speeds and connections. Um, you can set a password protected sharing. I don't do that just because I, I trust my network and I know who's on my network. If you don't know who's on your network, obviously you're gonna turn this on so that way you can set a password every time you try to share something. And, it's, and every time people want to look at certain folders in your computer, they need a password pretty much. So from there, you're gonna go back to your home screen. Now, this is fairly easy, very simple, okay? Anything that you wanna share across the network is pretty simple. Now, in order to see something on your network to, to be able to share, like if you got something that you wanna share from across a computer, this is my main computer here. All I have to do is I go over here, I go to my file explorer, and I go to this little tab here, where you can see everything else. And then I scroll down to network and then I can see what's on my network. Now, as you guys can see, my streaming PC is already being shared. That process that I showed you to where you have to show that your network is discoverable, that's the process you do. Now the streaming PC right here, um, Windows cannot access streaming PC, check the spelling. Now, pretty much what I have to do is I have to restart this process. I'm gonna hit diagnose, see if it fix it automatically. Um, it doesn't, so I'm gonna have to actually do this manually again on the other computer. But to show you that this works right off the rip, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to share a folder through my network from this main computer. Boom, so clone here, let's try that. We're gonna right click, show more options, and we're gonna do properties. Go to properties, boom. From there, I'm going to hit advanced. From there, I'm gonna hit sharing and then advanced sharing. I can share this folder right off the rip just like that. I can add a permission. I'm gonna do it this way and I'm gonna go share and I can share this, choose people to share with, boom, you can just type it in. If you got somebody on your network, I can choose everyone on my network just like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share it to everyone because everybody's on my network. I'll share it just like that, boom, and then you're gonna hit add. Now. You have a permission level when it comes to folders. For me, I don't just want to be able to open a folder. I want to be able to read. I want to be able to open a folder and actually delete stuff on that folder, add stuff to that folder if I want to, whenever I want to, on any computer. So I'm going to hit read and write, boom, and I'm going to share. Boom. Now it says your folder is shared. Boom. I'm done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on my second computer and pretty much. Now I'm gonna go over to my second computer, my streaming PC, and pretty much try to access that clone hero folder like I just did.
Well, well, and boom, just like that. There it is. If you want to do the same process on any other any other computers, just follow the same process I just showed you. Make your PC discoverable to your network and just like that. Um <clears throat> now if a password pops up for you guys, it's pretty much asking you to input the password that you have in username from your main computer that you're trying to access to. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um the files are literally in your folder like that across your computers, just like that. Now, a lot of people probably want to ask me, well, wouldn't this take up a lot of space? The great thing about the cloud storage and network storage, you have a limited amount of space just according to how much space you have in your computer. So if I have 18 terabytes on my computer, I'm never going to run out of space in the cloud. It just won't happen. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to be coming out with more videos to help you guys out with, but that is a pretty straightforward lesson for you guys. Nice little tip, and I hope it helps you out. Be sure to subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And that being said, that's it for this video. Let's get it. YouTube 2021.